All right, good morning. How are you, Izzy? All recovered from your birthday celebration? <laughs> Here. <laughs> 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 I did not want to get up this morning, y'all. I did make it to Pilates yesterday. It was challenging to be back after being, after not working out for a couple weeks. <sighs> I'm going back today. Oh no, so sleepy. I feel pretty good. I'm I'm definitely like I I feel all right for the most part. But then when I go do stuff like that that requires extra exertion, I'm like okay, so I'm still not like better better. And I go in here and I pick the same shoes like so often, but it's just like real life. Good morning. Assess some fossils, water plants, visit Brewster. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn this on. My last day off before I go back to work for the first time in two weeks. I didn't buy anything. Good morning watching my recover from a C-section. Love your videos. Oh my goodness. Good luck with the rest of your recovery. Glad I can keep you entertained. Good morning, good morning. Look at our little bushes finally blooming. Sorry, I'm gonna be yawning a lot. Very cold inside your house. Yeah, I have sweatpants on. I'm a little cold too. I made pumpkin bread yesterday, yum. Good morning, can't play this morning, unfortunately I have responsibilities. Ugh, it sucks. I know I have to go be a responsible adult today too and like run some errands I didn't finish running yesterday. I got frustrated in the middle of the day and like gave up. <laughs> Today's the court day and I did not sleep. Are you anxious? I'm sorry. Is your island ready for Halloween? I mean, my front yard is. I'm an acorn. Maybe more will come out if I continue to shake it. Probably not. Good morning. 
Do I not see another tree branch? Yeah. There we go. Good morning. We're just chilling this morning. I was so hard to get put in several weeks. Was for a Halloween prep last night. Nice. Make sure you're logging on and buying candy as often as you can. There are DIYs that you make with the acorns. Yes. I generally have new decorations each day. Oh, I can't remember if it's each day or weekly. We're gonna go in our nook's cranny and see if it's changed since yesterday. Man. But just since this is your... It's 113 people up right now. Yeah, they wake up for me. Oh, I got into a new Switch and a new Animal Crossing. So I'm just going to be realistic. Like, I'm probably going to buy whatever the console is. Let's just be honest about that. Um... I'm a person who gets really tired really quickly of all the, like, rumors, and every time a Nintendo Direct comes out, someone's like, they're gonna announce Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the Switch, someone leaked it, and then they never do, so I kind of am like, just like, well, believe it when they put out, like, a pre-order for it, or, you know, whatever, because, like, Okay, it's like Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, it's gonna come out on the Switch. It's gonna come out on the Switch. It's still not out. They keep pushing it back. <laughs> so, I'm playing the actual card game. My kids have lost everything. So, oh no. Oh my gosh, Derp. Like, having a nice mattress to sleep on makes all the difference in the world. I'm excited for the new Professor Layton game. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, exactly, Meg. Like, yeah, of course, like, be hopeful if those are your jams, because I know those are the big ones in my circles that people are asking for. And, um, but my goodness, like, at this point, why even bring it up? I want Hogwarts Legacy like, this for so bad. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. Restarted your island on the second switch, and I'm regretting my decision. Two islands is hard to maintain. I've tried. I, I keep, like, toying with the idea of starting a, um, another one on my other switch, and I just... I just don't think I can do it. I'm just saying I felt like playing the new Breath of the Wild. I think I can find it. Oh... What was I gonna do? Vegetables. Stinky. Good morning. I don't want to talk to you, Stinky. Keep, keep moving. Nice, derp. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, there's nothing like a good night's sleep, especially when you've not been sleeping well. Oh my gosh. I need this caffeine to enter my bloodstream faster. Go here. Gyroids. There we go. There we go. We have not slept, but we vibe. Oh my god, Meg. I've been trying to go to bed at a more reasonable hour. I think I went to bed a little after 10 last night, which is still kind of late for me. I'm sure once I get back to work tomorrow, I'm not going to have any problem falling asleep. Just made Chrissy and Francine roommates in her house. That's so cute. Oh, fun. I've not done the roommates thing with Happy Home Paradise yet. 
and they were roommates. Oh, Danny. Yeah, I'll bet school's got you stressed. I, I believe it. God, because I didn't even do like a master's program, but I remember when I was doing my bachelor's and I did all my school online. It's a lot. I mean, I was writing at least a research paper a semester and all kinds of stuff. It was a lot. So this is more festival and I could not sleep. So tired. I am forever grateful for my husband finally going to a sleep doctor last year and getting a CPAP. Like, he feels better. I want to unalive him for snoring less. Like, it's, it's good. It's good. They have two tests this week. Oh, yeah. I don't envy you in those days. Mm. See, we thought that's what my husband was going to need, was to have his adenoids and tonsils out, because he never did, he never needed to as a child. Good morning, Madonna! And, um... Turns out, no, it's just like the structure of his face. And it's nothing that can be repaired surgically. Thank you for the roses, LaDonna. But the CPAP thing really helped. But it's been a lot of trial and error. It's not like, here's the CPAP, everything's fine. It's like, okay, try this for a month and see how it works. Okay, maybe you need this mask instead. Maybe you need this special humidifying hose instead. Maybe, and then we'll see you in a couple months and see how you feel. Okay, that didn't work, so let's try this now. Okay, let's, and so it's been like, I mean, it was a solid like 10 months of like trial and error on the different pieces in the machine and stuff, so it's something I like to warn people that we didn't know about when we went into all of this. That's what it says, odd noise or nods of what? Yeah, it's... We started at an ENT and then got referred to a sleep specialist. And then we did it, we were able to do like an at-home sleep study. Good morning. And so that was nice. Well, Donna, thank you for the chili peppers and the lightning. Star Travels, thank you for the heart me. No, it is the structure of his, like, face and, like, trachea. They described it as, like, just the way his body is when he sleeps and lays back. His trachea, like, collapse Because it's like a soft tube, right, that you breathe through in your body. And, um, so when it, it like, closes and causes... I mean, he wasn't breathing, like... 30 40 times in an hour kind of thing it was we didn't realize it was that bad and um, the CPAP essentially has like forced air that forces that tube you breathe through to stay open so that he can breathe consistently through the night and his body's not as oxygen deprived you're my morning comfort streamer thank you we like to keep chill vibes here in general, but like especially this early in the morning. Yeah, that is it is scary, but it's because like I never assumed he had apnea. Like I never heard him stop breathing during the night. And he was. So like I was certain he wasn't apneic, but I was wrong. Well, and my husband has a beard, so it makes it a little more difficult to find a mask that fits well and all of this, but I think he's finally got it down. I do not work today. Um, I'll be on, this will be a little bit longer stream than like my average morning stream typically is, but I do have some errands I need to run today, and I have Pilates at like noon. I don't do a lot of flower breeding. That's something that I would recommend like Googling because a lot of people online have made really good like grids that you can lay out in pictures 
um, so that you know how to breed what flower you're doing. I just know that it can be like, just because you lay the flowers out like they're supposed to, they won't necessarily breed the color you want. Sometimes it takes this dang cricket. It takes some time. I just don't want to do today. Yeah. Pinterest has good expert. There you go. Thank you, Hales. Flower bidding takes a lot of patience. Yeah. How can I get fruit I don't have? So, traveling to someone else's island who plays the game or going to like a treasure island is going to be the best way to do it. I open my island up once a month and I have all the fruits and vegetables. And I let people come and take stuff that they're missing. Good morning, Mare Bear. Oops. I always pick up the fence while I'm picking flowers. Green mums, the bane of my existence. <laughs> Green mums are hard. Roses. Okay. I don't know that I've ever had mums on my. Bless you. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, green mums, I think, are the rarest mums. Got a bunch of purple mums in the green was spot like crazy. Did I pick up fencing again? I wish I could just, like, lock it down. Blam. There we go. I'm in the middle of my island in months. I wonder if I've got any fun flowers now. Wouldn't that be funny if you like tried and tried and then you just leave it alone and um, your rare flowers spawn. You can take some green mushroom out if you want. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm good. I just, I've never been in like big into the flowers. The only flowers I wanted were the black ones. And so I have several and I'm like, I'm good. Let's go pick some more roses so we can craft them into things. I love Lucky. I'm pretty certain he was one of my starts. I think it was him and Alfonso, that alligator. I'm just to water your plants daily the flower. Yeah, that's true. You can turn on like the island beautification ordinance or whatever it's called, and they're supposed to help water the flowers. User, thank you for the follow. Listen to Marie. There we go. Chloe, thank you for the high bears. The 10 high bears and Becca, thank you for the heart me. flowers are the thing I care least about in this game. I'd agree with that. Like, when you have the rare flower colors, you can pick them like I'm doing and sell them, and they make a decent chunk of change. And craft them will make you even more money. Danielle Collier, thank you for the follow. I'm using TikTok Live Studio to do my screen splitting and streaming. I'll just are a bunch of freeloaders. Yeah, what is it about um, all the colors? Pokemon kid, gotta catch them all, for real. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. It's fine. So I picked the roses because they're a decent source of income in and of themselves. The, the rare colors, the, the black, the gold, the purple, whatever. And they grow right back. But there's also recipes you can get, some recipes, DIYs for like flower crowns and flower wreaths. And if you take the time to actually craft, 
they're sell for even more. Have you played past Animal Crossing games? The only other Animal Crossing game I played was on the Wii. Um, City Folk was the only one I had. So we'll craft some dark tulip crowns here. We did this the other day and sold them and made like 34,000 bells or something, but I also had gotten a good luck money fortune from Katrina, so I was making more than the standard amount from them. Hey, Gorilla Nub, thank you for the follow. Um, I've thought about trying to find the GameCube version. That seems to be one of the most loved versions, because I have a GameCube and playing that. My poor GameCube sitting back here not getting used. I never had one as a kid, but I bought one like last year to play Twilight Princess and ended up not enjoying my Twilight Princess playthrough at all. It's great to do visit Katrina first if you're gonna sell a lot. Exactly. Good morning. I'm I'm doing well today. My usual. I'm tired, but I'm all right. Uh, oh, the Halloween decoration did change yesterday. It was that Tower of Pumpkins, so it must change daily. So Katrina's a fortune teller. She will give you a fortune that will affect your gameplay. She'll give you a good luck fortune or a bad luck fortune. She'll give a good luck fortune and money or friendship or sometimes she'll give you a fortune that makes your tools unbreakable for the rest of that day. Uh, it just depends. And then she can also give you a bad luck fortune. And if she gives you like a bad luck money fortune, things will sell for less than they normally do. If she gives you a good luck fortune, they sell for more than they normally do. If she gives you a bad luck health fortune, your character will trip and fall. You can cleanse yourself of these fortunes. It costs 10,000 bells to cleanse, and she'll send you a little gift in the mail the next day. But, um, yeah. Okay, is that all the flower petals? This is only flowers and flower crowns. All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Kev, uh, Kevon30, thank you for the follow. Her messages are backwards, yeah, written backwards. So there we go, we made 32,000 bells off flowers that we picked. Yeah, the bad luck health fortune, fortune is one that I almost never cleanse. Because I think it's funny when the character trips and falls. And also, I'm not going to spend 10,000 bells on that. I don't have the bells for that, honey. Oh, bye. Play for so long and didn't know that. What on earth? Yeah! <laughs> There's so many little things to this game. I just learned, what was it that I just learned like the other day? Like, there's so many little things. I don't, I don't know. I bet there's very few people who truly know it all. The same reason you love the Cleopatra mask? What's the Cleopatra mask? Oh, gotta get our candy. Now I posted a video about this, but I'm gonna say it here too. You gotta come here every day and buy a piece of candy if you wanna participate in the Halloween event, because you have to give, give candy at your Halloween event. When you wear it, you trip constantly. Really? Um, Nook's Cranny also has pumpkin starts. They're a regular price. If you can find Leaf, or if you have Leaf on Harv's Island, he's selling them at a discounted price this time of year. 
but this is where all four colors of pumpkins they come from the same pumpkin start so go buy a bunch of them and see if you can spawn all four colors just learn how to jump off the beach airport yeah that's knowledge I don't particularly want people <laughs> um Yeah, you can jump off both the piers if you're wearing a wetsuit. Orange, green, yellow, and white are the four colors of pumpkins. No, you're fine. You didn't. That's just me being selfish. Because when I open my island up, I'm afraid somebody's going to show up and jump off my pier and swim around to a place where I don't want them. I'm going to have to shut my island down and stop doing visiting days. It's going to be really annoying. But I'm just being paranoid. Good morning. How are you? Carlos, my love. How are you? It is not possible to change the color. Once it is that color, it is that color. Um, but if you buy enough pumpkin starts, eventually you'll get all the colors. But yeah, here they all are. Yeah, go buy them from Leaf if you can. They're, um, they're cheaper from him right now. If you've got him over on Harv's Island, but in a in a pinch, go buy him from Nooks. I love Carlos. Most people are respectful of the visiting days. I'm just all the veggies grow in like three days, I think, because there's three days you can water them. How much do I have in my pockets? Yeah, that'll work. You've gotten all the fruit, but somehow cherries disappeared. Did you cut down the trees accidentally? <laughs> Nicole, thank you for the rose. A, sorry, A Nicole, thank you for the rose. Um, I've not time traveled on this island. I had a second island I was working with briefly, and I did time travel on that one, but this island has never done time travel or treasure islands. I forgot to water yesterday. Yeah. I couldn't find my money tree spot yesterday for the life of me. Go to Treasure Island and get them for free. I mean, uh, that's true of anything. So here's the deal with Treasure Islands. Y'all do you, and I'm gonna do me, and it's fine. This is an individually played game, so it doesn't matter how we play. It doesn't affect each other. Um, but... The answer to anything could literally be go to Treasure Island. So I'm usually going to answer how the game intends you to do it. And that's just personal preference and not a slight against anybody or whatever. If y'all like to go to Treasure Islands, that's cool. I get why people do it. I just didn't know that like Treasure Islands and time traveling was a thing when I started playing this game because I was not involved in like an internet community. I was sitting on my couch trying not to get COVID and playing this game to pass the time like much of us were. So that's all. Actually I covered mine up yesterday, it happens. How can we get all the fruit? So getting all the fruit at some point you do eventually need to travel to somebody's island whether you do it on local play with somebody you know who also plays Animal Crossing and y'all can be on the same Wi-Fi that's how you do it without having Nintendo online or you have to get the Nintendo online service and travel to somebody else's island they say you can get it by just like traveling to mystery islands but I swear I swear they've designed it so you have to get the Nintendo online on my first island I got max bells and super regretted it <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I that it, it would ruin it for me personally. Like this game is designed to kind of be a grind, but at the same time, I'm not big on doing like and 
the designing and the decorating and like all like that custom path I just did is the first custom path I've ever used and but there's some people who are so incredible at decorating these islands and making them look just absolutely stunning like stuff I could never think to do and that's a really cool thing about this game too is like the decorating aspect of it I don't have the creativity to do that and I never have like like growing up playing the sims like my sister was always the one who would like decorate a house design a house and I was like I don't care it's a square box just let them live in it and I just want to play the people and so that's just very much my personality and how it always has been so I get that like if you're a person who loves to decorate like go to those treasure islands get your stuff to decorate use those custom codes like restart several islands with different themes like that also makes sense of me as a way to play this game. I only play Switch and while crossing and my games. Yeah. I had to drive an hour away to buy a Switch. Oh my gosh. I got the Switch when it came out, but um Actually I don't Do I wanna go to work? I'm good. It's a little harvest island. Oh, you know what we didn't do is go talk to Red on the back of our island. Scorpions can't seem to catch one. Yeah, those scorpions are elusive and only seem to come out when they're ready to get you. I go back to work tomorrow. Hunting Megabucks, thank you for the lightning. Also, I just posted like the rest of my October schedule in my Discord. Um, I have a schedule and announcements section there. So go check that out because I do go back to work tomorrow. And, um,. I also typed a very long thing in my announcements yesterday. Just some feelings and some thoughts, some frustrations I needed to air. But you ready to get back into a routine? What a week it's been. Yeah, I am ready to get back into a routine. It's. It would be different if I was like a full-time streamer and I could like make a schedule like this where I, you know, stream and stuff the day, but just knowing like work's like looming and ready for me to come back <laughs> gives me a little bit of anxiety. Did we look at her rugs yesterday? I don't think we did. Oh yes we did. I don't have enough money to get a fortune from Katrina. Let's get some money. That's how I feel today. We have so many dogs today. Yeah, it's... It's tough. I'd like to know my luck. Good morning. So Katrina is on Harv's Island. And when you hit a three-star island, um, Harv will talk about like opening a collective up back here and he's got seven different little vendors and Katrina is one of them. So when the back of the island is finally opened up, you're going to have the... Um, construction gyroid back here and you have to pay a hundred thousand bells for each of them but then you can have them out here all the time i do have all the rooms in my house my house is fully upgraded all the rooms and all five thousand storage slots are we getting a money tree our money should have waited and sold those flowers just like y'all said hales thank you for the finger hearts 
See, now I've got a good luck money fortune. That's good. Should have waited to bury my money tree too. That's on me. Ooh, it's gonna chill. I truly don't even really need the bells, but it's fun. Pack snacks, make tracks. I had to get my COVID and my flu shot this week. I got my flu shot right before I went to Los Angeles. And apparently they've got like a like a high dose flu shot this year for old and immune compromised people. And I got that bad boy and I felt pretty good after considering but then I got COVID, so you know. <laughs> Honestly, the flu shot wasn't bad this year. It didn't really hurt. It made me a little tired, but nothing crazy. And that high dose flu shot is like four times the amount of the normal flu shot, apparently. Good morning, how are you? That money tree's not ready yet, okay. We need to do something in Bo's yard. Hey girl, did you buy Happy Home Paradise? No, just yeah, Happy Home Paradise is the DLC. Oh, and he's cooking. Look at his house. We could make this better. I love that he has a picnic house. The vacation home we designed for him was a picnic themed vacation home. Where did you get the high dose flu one at? They offered them at my work. My job is really good about like, hey, we've got flu shots and then they come around to each department and give you the shot too. So you don't even have to like go find them. Oh yeah, the, the DLC is completely worth the money. Bobby, thank you for the follow. What did he just give me? Thumbprint jam cookies. Jamie Dodgers. This reminds me of Dom's house. We should redecorate his house and make it better. We can make a really cute house for him. So we have a fishing pier and a barbecue meat smoking area. That's so cute. I was to work on you on Animal Crossing later. Yeah, for sure. Have a good day at work. Ooh. I do that for my husband too. My duty gets to dependence can sign up. Nice. Yeah, we only got like 10 of the high dose ones at work, I guess, but I was like one of the very first people to get the high dose one. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, they're available. They are available for those who want them. But to get it, I have to go back to the main hospital. Oh. Let's go to CVS. Yeah. I do a lot of my extra ones at like Walgreens because it's easier and they keep good track, they keep good records. Good morning. Um, it went okay. It's definitely easy to tell that I have not been in at Pilates in a couple weeks. Excuse me. Smart to put a vine there? Yes. That's like the only place a vine would go. Um, the fortune teller's name is Katrina. Okay. Fake statue because of this shovel. Fake art because the eyebrows are wrong. I think the Mona Lisa is correct. I cannot tell if this one is correct or not. This stoat should be white. Is there anything new in the game? Um, 
I can't remember the last update was. I think that's real. Yeah, you have to look at her eyebrows too, but it's hard for me to tell from far away. No, I think this is fake now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's fake. Look at those eyebrows. That's not the real Mona Lisa. This one's the real one. Sometimes he has more than one real one. It's rare, but sometimes he does. Cool. Thanks, Red. I've seen that guy who visited all of the Animal Crossing art in real life, and it's very cool. I was like, what a neat little thing to do. Clearly, I was not getting third eyebrows. <laughs> I've never had my eyebrows done. Okay. I need to hit these rocks. See if there's any money in them. Lindsay, thank you for the follow. Becca, thank you for the paper crane. Thank you so much. The very eyebrows naturally, thank you. I've never felt the need to do anything with them. Although, like, when I had my makeup done for my wedding, like, I think my mom and my sister were like, your eyebrows look great. You should do something to them every day. I was like, what's wrong with my eyebrows? I guess they could use a little filling in. Hi, good morning, y'all. How are you? Should I get Katrina or Sahara on Harv's Island first? Whatever you get on Harv's Island is totally dependent on your goals and how many, how much time it's going to take you to save up 100,000 bells to open up all of them. Because I got red first. I wanted to finish my museum. Katrina is someone you can go to daily and get a fortune from, but since Sahara is a vendor with a product, her product is only going to change weekly. So if that makes a difference. Ana G, thank you for the follow. Tally, thank you for the follow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, did we get all our wasps? Did we shake all our trees? Thump. Hit all our rocks. I wish all my rocks were money rocks. We need to go to a mystery island and see if we get a good one today since we got a good money fortune. You're playing Animal Crossing right now too? Yes, this is a great game to play while you watch someone play. I do that too. There's a couple other Animal Crossing creators I would highly recommend if y'all enjoy watching Animal Crossing streams. Typed in. There you go. Two other great streamers. They're not Animal Crossing only, and neither am I, but um, they do play Animal Crossing regularly. And these ladies know how to decorate, man. They do themed islands um, using a lot of great custom codes. They do, like, just go watch them. Meg's also recently gotten into Disney Dreamlight Valley, and she's never played before, so it's her first playthrough of Dreamlight Valley, so I would recommend that. Can't watch him play, I get easily distracted. Yeah, that makes sense, though. 
She's playing Sims today? Ah. Uh, I would love to see her play Sims. I love them too because not only are they really awesome people that I genuinely enjoy being friends with, but um, they stream at different times than me. So it's nice. Like, I stream in the morning, and then usually I can watch Franz and Meg. And like, <laughs> it's nice. I can kind of just watch streams all day. <laughs> How's your Black Widow challenge going? I think we've done eight spouses. Daniela, thank you for the follow. I just uploaded the last playthrough recently. Hey, Misty, you can't stay for long. There's a Shan W as a license plate. Oh my god, that's so funny. I think you're supposed to do 10 spouses, but I'm not doing it like totally according to the rules. So, where did Nicolas Cage go? I've got two storage sheds. So that storage shed you can buy from your Nook Miles ATM. It'll cost you 6,000 Nook Miles, but it only becomes available once you have fully upgraded your home, all the rooms. And you've upgraded your home storage to at least 2,400 slots. It's like the second home storage upgrade, I think. Because the maximum you can have is 5,000 storage slots. But then you can buy the wooden storage shed DIY, or you can just straight up buy the storage shed like the one I have. Not just a regular old island. It's got pumpkins on it. The storage, the final storage upgrade to the 5,000 is 1.2 million bells. Like, it is ridiculous. Mil million with an M. <laughs> Tom, that's a mob boss, and she'll know. <laughs> so I'm holding off on those upgrades, yeah. So, like, a good thing to do. Coming up October 14th, it's the it's a Saturday in a couple weeks, is going to be the fall fishing tournament. And so you can go and participate in that, get your fishing tourney stamp. But also, you can sell fish to CJ, right? It's the same thing as the bug off. Now, you, if they come on your island at random times and you have stored up fish and bugs for them, of course, sell them to them if they're on your island. I'm just saying, because they are random NPCs, when they come and do the tournaments and the fish-offs and the bug-offs or whatever they're called, that's the day you know they're going to be there. So plan ahead. Catch a bunch of fish, save them for the 14th, and then make extra money that way. Good morning, Mason. How are you? How do you know that ahead of time? You just Google it. Because I make like videos about upcoming events and stuff. I'm all like there's a every month I put out a video about the new sea creatures, bugs and fish that are coming out for both the northern and southern hemisphere. And I've also been making monthly like birthday videos of which villagers have birthdays. And so I'll Google like October birthday is an Animal Crossing, and I end up on like an IGN webpage that's like, here's all the birthdays, here's all the critters, here's all the events, here's all the everything, and it's all right there. There's a few different events in October, not a lot, but um, I also know that the fishing tournaments are seasonal, so there's one in spring, summer, fall, and winter, but the bug-offs are in the summer, so they're in like June, July, August, September. 
The game is in the southern hemisphere, so I have spooky stuff set up, but also cherry blossoms. That's funny. I love that. Having a morning coffee date with Mama. That's nice. The game is in the southern hemisphere. Oh, nice. So also, um, I've been trying to catch a barrel eye for a month now. Goodness gracious. The barrel eye. Nine PM to four AM Middle of the night kind of It wouldn't let me sell my previously It should you can't he's not just gonna outright ask for them But after you play at least one round of the bug off you should be able to like talk to him and it'll prompt you to ask like something else and in the something else category, it'll like go over the rules again or like sell bugs or that kind of thing. It's not, it's not just like the first choice on his prompts of conversation. Watching you stream and playing Animal Crossing, so like, how'd you get so good? I have 800 plus hours into this island. So just lots of playing and research. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Cotton Candy B, thank you for the follow. Plus, like watching other streamers and everything, I learn a lot. I'm there for two hours almost every night. That sucks. I'm sorry. I felt that way when I was trying to catch the giant Trevally off the pier. I went through so much fish bait, I lost count. Like, it's insane. That's what I'm missing too? Yeah. Yes, I have completed my fish critterpedia. Never did get that giraffe stag. Yeah, the giraffe stag was my last bug to catch as well. Not an easy one to get. Barbie Dunkle, thank you for the follow. Those of y'all who are new here, my Discord is linked in my bio. Feel free to join and be part of the community there. I open my island up once a month to visitors, and if you're a subscriber, you get priority access. You get to come first, and then you get to skip the line if you can't come when I open it up to subs. So keep that in mind too. Cotton Candy Bee, thank you for the roses. I haven't played this game in months. Yeah, it's a good one. New here, can you do an island tour? I cannot. I am not even on my island. I'm on a mystery island. Um, I'm going to do visiting day on Sunday the 22nd. That's the day I can do it. I don't think anything should like surprising like come up, but that's the day I picked. One of my kids got the Marlin and didn't donate it, and I still haven't found one. Oh my goodness. I thought we'd get a better Mystery Island since we got a good fortune, but we can do. Do I need to swim? I mean, I always need to swim, but technically I don't. My fingers are sore now. Oh, we're up to 15,000 likes. I appreciate you guys tapping and getting the live out there. It's all appreciated. It's a great way to help support creators. If you can't or don't want to do it financially, then sharing the live, tapping the likes while you're in a live, being interactive in the chat if that's something you're comfortable with, or just going to your favorite creator's profile and watching their videos, like literally just letting our videos play 
those unique views truly add up and they mean a lot to us and um so yeah there's i appreciate y'all being here and just supporting me and just hanging out i do not play stardew valley but i have been playing fey farm which is kind of stardew-esque in its gameplay and it's really fun i'm liking it a lot is seven cents, so I just press one. I appreciate it. Everything I make here in stream goes back into the stream, so it helps me pay for equipment that if I need some, or it helps me pay for the bots I need or the subscriptions I need to help me make the videos or moderate or whatever. And then I just did a like several giveaways when I hit 20k, and that helped kind of fund that. I do put my own money into it as well, but y'all help me offset some of the costs. I'm just supposed to chill with thank you. Aside from a jar of I'm still going to the islands. Um there's not gonna be wasps on the boat islands, but there will be on the airplane islands. Hales, thank you for the roses. Other than that, they're about the same. I don't know. I never take the plane rides. Do you get veggies on the plane rides? Because you get veggies on the boat rides. The stream got me through a new windshield yesterday. God, bro, do I feel that. I had to go get a tire repaired yesterday that I was not expecting to have to get repaired. So I spent like an hour, hour and a half after Pilates, like, getting a tire patched. You know, I don't know. I never shake the trees. I just chop them all down. How can we don't go and plant items? Honestly, it's because I'm lazy. And I like that I can walk up to the boat and just pay Nook Miles. I don't like that I have to buy a ticket with my Nook Miles and then take that ticket to the plane to get a plane ride. Like, that seems like an extra step to me that I don't want to do. <laughs> but you can only visit one boat island a day. So if for some reason I wanted to do multiple mystery islands, I would do a plane island. There is a DIY on the beach for boat islands. There's There should be one for the plane islands as well. <laughs> you won't find villagers on boat islands. That's a good point. If you're villager hunting, go via plane. Oh look, these bushes are already set up in a corner, so I don't need to dig one. Love that. Let's see, but I'm gonna dig anyway. Now the only one you're ever gonna find on the boat island is Brewster. Now there's gonna be roast ro roaches. Yes, so if you're gone for a while, there definitely will be. So the boat tours come when you've reached a three-star island, and that's a quest that Blathers is gonna initiate. He's gonna talk about how he wants a coffee shop in the museum, and you should go find his buddy. And so then, if you get on a plane, they'll take you out and you'll invite Brewster. How's your sickness? I feel a lot better. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. It's from between saying I'm going to get coffee and playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> There's a special drink at Dutch Bros right now just in Texas and Oklahoma and I'm probably going to go get one today. Amas, thank you for the follow. Thank you, I'm glad I'm feeling better too. It's a Red River Rebel, and it's like a special rebel because if you're from Texas or Oklahoma, then you know that the Red River Rivalry is coming up. <laughs> and they've made a special, um, a special rebel for it. So if you're wearing a wetsuit or a swimsuit, You've got to um, walk up to the edge of the ocean and just push A. You can't have a tool or anything in your hands. And then you're just, you'll just walk right in. You didn't miss the entire life. You're good. 
I'm not from there, but I love college football, so I know. See? You know. So, the Red River separates Texas from Oklahoma, okay? As a Texan, we hate Oklahoma. It's just the nature of the beast. So, when UT plays OSU, or um, OU, not OSU, sorry, that's totally different. OU, that is the Red River rivalry. It's a very big deal. And it's at the Cotton Bowl. <laughs> so it's like a week-long special rebel they're doing. And I love it. So a rebel is a, a drink from Dutch Bros. Like, I'm not into college football, but I know this. Okay, it's a very big deal. The OR I used to work in... No, I don't like football. The OR I used to work in, the surgeon was a UT fan and the nurse was a uh, Sooner and they made like bets and stuff every year and it's like a it's a big deal um so Dutch Bros is a coffee place it's very good um there's a million different little coffee places out there but it's definitely it's a chain but Dutch Bros has their own energy drink that's called a Rebel. It's like a Red Bull, but it's literally like a canned energy drink. But you can go and order all these different flavors of Rebels, and they crack a can, pour it in a cup, and add flavors and stuff to it. It's very tasty. And um, I love the Rebels. I think they are delicious because I like caffeine, but I'm not a huge coffee drinker. And they've got really fun, yummy flavors there. But... And every month they do these like digital stickers in their app and stuff. And so today I can go get the Red River Rebel and I'll also get like three different stickers in my app. Yeah, I used the Turnip Exchange too and sold a bunch of turnips and that's how I made my first like 15 million bells. I'm from Wisconsin, but that Red Bull yeah. sounds good. It is good. I don't know where Dutch Bros originated, but I know we have like four of them in my city, like overnight. I'm in East Texas. I'm in Tyler. So I don't mind sharing. I mean, I've got my P.O. box posted. It's got my city on it. Dutch Bros is from Oregon. I thought they were from the north. Which is why I was surprised when I went to Los Angeles, there wasn't one there. there. The closest one was like an hour from where I was, which, I mean, could have still been in L.A., but in popular opinion, I don't like Dutch Bros. That's fair. I would rather go to Dutch Bros and go to Starbs, so. Yeah. The, when I went to Oregon many, many years ago, it's when I discovered Pete's Coffee, and I was like, oh my god, sounds good. Mm-hmm. Our business life. Eh. I think I'm a little jaded from working there. I'd be fine if I never drank Starbucks again. I like a lot of non coffee options, and I feel like that's something Starbucks is lacking in. What's a non coffee option that's not a Frappuccino? Like, you need to try Tim Hortons. I am way too far south for a Tim Hortons. <laughs> See, but Mason, all of these little coffee shops are expensive. Like, I'm probably going to go spend more at Dutch Bros than I would at Starbucks. That's true. Dutch doesn't do regular coffee, do they? It's like an Americano. They have one in Houston. Really? Sonic Sweet Tea Fan is set up. Man, I do love a Sonic Cherry Limeade. That's where it's at. Okay, yeah. I also like the Dutch sodas. Mawawa Girl. I've never been to Mawawa. Refreshers are a good option. I like the refreshers. Um, they are super acidic and tend to give me indigestion. But refreshers were where it was at. I always did the strawberry lemonade one with no water and no inclusions. And it's the bomb. Like, I love a good refresher. Oh my guess Saturday today's for the for cat fight. <laughs> Somebody doesn't enjoy hot coffee, you have to be in a specific mood with Dutch Bros, is it for me? Yeah. 
Exactly. Can we be friends? Sure. Big B. I've never even heard of that. Star Travels, thank you for the pumpkin spice lattes. And Renee Jones, thank you for the finger hearts. Sorry, I just saw those. I was on my coffee rant. When I figure out how to make Rebels at home, it's over. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica RT04, thank you for the pumpkin spice latte. I think the Rebels are pretty easy to make. It's just like a Red Bull with like syrup in it. Love all the Animal Crossing content. Thank you. I would say this is definitely my main content. But I do a bunch of other stuff. Like last night we started a new playthrough of Breath of the Wild. It's been nice to get back on a Zelda game. It's been a while since I've picked one up. colored pumpkins come from the same pumpkin starts and now is the perfect time of year to buy them because they're available for the month of October at in your nooks cranny and then leaf is gonna sell them for a discounted price as well so if you've got leaf out on Harv's Island you can go out and buy them from him so just buy a whole bunch of them and plant them Would you ever do meet and greets? Huh. Probably. But I just don't feel like I'm at that level where anybody would do that. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. The closest I ever came was I went on a cruise earlier this year. And one of my regular viewers was happened to be on the same cruise ship, we realized. And I told her, I was like, if you want... And you see me, I was like, you can come up and say hi. Like, don't think I'm going to be weirded out about it. And we just never ran into each other. It is random. Yes. <laughs> There's a bit, yeah, so there was that. Which I was like, that was so crazy too. I told my husband, I was like, I might meet a fan. <laughs> it's so mind boggling to me. Just curious since I'll be driving through Dallas in November. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in November. I have never restarted. No, this is my original island from 2020. You're too sweet, thank you. I think a meet and greet would be fun and I think it would be very overwhelming. <laughs> um, Gotta go do something back in a few C in a bit. The gyroids aren't really useful in any way, I don't feel. <laughs> Um, you can plant them, you plant the fragments in the ground and you water them and that's how you get whole gyroids. There's 36 different types of gyroids, but you can also use customization kits on them to change the color of the gyroid. It won't change the style, but it will change the color. And they dance to music. If you put a music player near them, they'll sync up and like play along and dance, but that's about it. There's quite a, there is a big group of us from Texas. I mean, I feel like statistically so, just because Texas is so big. Charlotte, thank you for the follow. I need to do some laundry today. Good morning, Timmy. 
hit a bunch of jars on my friend's island last night. If you hang them on the wall of her crib, a baby stroll, it looks cute. I used to give them to my villagers and gift them, but then they kept putting them in their house, and I was like, quit putting these stupid things in your house. I've collected all the gyroids and their variations. Wow. Yeah, I had all 36 of them because you can find 35 of them, but that 36th one comes from Brewster and you have to earn it. Speaking of Texas, I'm here too. Yep. Kylie Martin, thank you for the follow. I'd love to have fans of that I'm antisocial. <laughs> I think it would be fun. I would love to have a get together um, where I could go and visit like Franz. She is probably the one I'm like tightest with, but there's a whole big group of us, and I would love if like we could all get together and play games together or just meet up. Well, I mean, Timmy, you know, even in here from San Antonio is like five hours. <laughs> Yes, you have to drink 50 cups of coffee from Brewster. It doesn't have to be in a in a row, but it's got to be 50 cups. Solana. An influential trip over Animal Crossing. Yes. When you live in Texas, everyone seems so it's so true cuz Texas is huge. Let's see, what have we here? It's a weird skirt. Oh, I'm so sleepy. If I drink 100, do I get a second one? No, I don't think so. Rad power skirt suit. I don't like any of these. Mm. Yeah, the Brewster Gyroid's my favorite. It's really cute. Yeah, I did a road trip up to Portland, Oregon one time. And driving across Texas is the longest part. Like, especially because I'm way over in East Texas. At the time, I was like, I don't know, maybe an hour west of Louisiana border. So... looked up eyebrows and customs. I love the freckle. I did see some um, custom eyebrows and freckles the other day when we were looking at this custom flooring. They're very cute. I like all the custom stuff people do. It's cool. Okay, let's go out to the work island. I wish you could see what Nook Miles goals are before you get the first so you could set goals. Do you mean like the... Like these down here? I think Meg is trying Sims today. Yeah, I am going to watch that. I'm curious. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory if you play regularly at different times of day. These two are the two I'm missing, and I've Googled it and looked it up. Um, I am, oh, Meg's crepe, but yes, I'm excited to see you play, Meg. Have you ever played Sims before? I have plans for Sims, oh my gosh. I love playing Chaotic Sims. It's my favorite. Yes, this one's a pro design, which I do not know what that means. And this one, I think, is a New Year's Eve celebration. Um, so I've apparently never played on New Year's Eve. Ooh, this is going to be the fishing tournament I'm missing. I've got to participate in this one. Not really very, very little. Like I played on the phone app once. Ooh, that's going to be fun. You can make one in the custom design app. Oh.
I guess that makes sense. I don't have that one since I never do customs. Excuse me. But I have created a design. That's what's crazy, but I've only used it on like a... A sign. I didn't think of cooling it. <laughs> no, it's good. Because normally a pro design is closed. Okay, well that's why then. Are you okay with time traveling? You could get that one at least. I do not time travel. I'm just going to have to play on New Year's Eve. I'm going to get mods too. Because I need some. Give us an offer. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be fun, Meg. I'm excited to watch. Are you doing that today? I've been watching so much Animal Crossing that I haven't played any in a couple days. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice. That's gonna be fun. I wish we knew how many times we'd interacted with Gulliver 2, because here's the frustrating thing about that. This is not what I was trying to go to. Let's go back to this. Let's talk about Gulliver. So the only golden tool that you can actually track your progress on is the... is the slingshot. Hold on, I'll find it. Maybe. The It's Raining Treasure. Because this keeps track of how many balloons you've shot down, and you need 300 to get the golden slingshot. This is the only one that you can track. But the rest of them you can't, and it's so annoying because there is this one right here, this Gulliver's Travails, but both Gulliver's count towards this stamp but only original Gulliver counts toward your gold shovel. And you have to have 30 times to have helped regular Gulliver, but the stamp only goes up to 20. Yeah. So. <clears throat> There's that. See, that's smart. Never help Pirate Gulliver. The gold shovel is way too hard to obtain. Agreed. Um, we're looking for a bottle. Yeah, there we go. The gold shovel's the only one I don't have. Also, does it do anything special like the watering can does? Nope. The watering can is the only one that does anything special because all the gold tools still break. They just last longer. They're stupid. I don't even know. They should be unbreakable at the least. I feel like I'm never going to go through 100 axes. See, and I feel like the axe one is the easiest one. Just use your flimsy axe on your own island every day because they break so easily and then you can chop the wood out of the trees on your island without chopping your trees down. Because the flimsy axe doesn't actually cut the tree down. I'm gonna look at you this all day. You too, Timmy. The gold watering can, when you water the black roses, um, creates the opportunity for gold roses to spawn. But you have to water black roses with the gold watering can. <laughs> That's the only reason I have flimsy axes still. Yeah. Use those flimsy axes. They break so fast. Message in a bottle. How can I unlock all the food recipes? You just gotta find them all. If you've got Happy Home Paradise, come talk to your chef every day. He'll give you a recipe every day. But you'll start finding recipes in bottles and then... Don't forget that your villagers will either craft or cook every day in your, on your actual island. And they do it three times a day. So there's one in the morning, there's one midday-ish, and there's one in the evening that will be doing either crafting or cooking. And if you go into their home and see them doing it, just talk to them and they'll give you whatever DIY or recipe they're looking, they're working on. Oh, it's 
sleepy. I have so many stinking pokey. Do you need the paid Nintendo membership to get this far? You need to purchase this, but you don't need Nintendo Online to travel to this. You need Nintendo Online to visit other players. Gotta run of work calls. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day, Star Travels. Thank you for hanging out. I own a so bear because I can't commit to anything. Too many options. Yeah, there's a lot of options. But anything done can be undone. The only permanent thing is the location of resident services. If my place is full of lucky stuff, then nothing bad can happen. I want to find myself but have nice scenery. I just want a place where I may have an arid place where I grew up. Sad cafe with sad art. The desert. Would everyone want to go to the desert today? Beach sports. So this is the Happy Home Paradise DLC. If you don't have the DLC, um, you won't ever see this island. The sad one, right? Sad cafe is tempting. A Cape Cod Widow. That's so specific. I love that. You're going to play ACNH with me? Mason, look at you go. You've been playing so much lately. I think we already... Jungle theme. He wants to play hide and seek in a jungle themed home. That's fun. A seaside photo shoot. Pro level kitchen. We've already done one for Spork. I don't want to have paid have any paid access you think the game isn't worth it but I don't pursue any many options um I think the DLC is completely worth it and you don't even have to buy it online you can I'm sorry you can buy a digital download card at like a store like a Walmart or a Target or whatever um and then you just enter your code and you can have access to this. You don't have to have Nintendo Online and you don't have to purchase it from the eShop. But um, it's 25 bucks for the DLC. Once you have the DLC, you have it. It's yours. But there are a lot of people like myself. I have the Nintendo Online Plus Expansion membership. So I have access to all of their like archives of old games and my DLC is included in the price I pay for that membership. It's like $50 for the year for an individual membership. If I ever get rid of my Nintendo online membership, I will no longer have this because I didn't purchase it. Place where I can set up camp, a secret hideaway no one else can find, fast food. Yeah, I think let's do the sad cafe. <clears throat> yeah, you can order from resident services and you can order from Wardell if you've gotten to that point. Where's the sad lady? There she is. Pardon me. Let's chat. My island on my husband's Switch has Frida. I was like, who is this fast food ram? Who hurt her, <laughs> right? She just needs a place to go cry. Oh, God. I'm kind of city core and I really do Japanese city core eventually. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I had never seen her before, and um, when she popped up as a start on my island, I was like, who is this? Where do I want to put an art cafe? Um, 
I hate the cows and the bulls. I don't like the, like, big birds and the gorillas. One floor, never two. That's not true. We've done a couple two floors recently. I do. I haven't updated it in a while, but my switch code and my dream code are posted in my Discord. If I have the actual game card, do I get this? No. So this is a DLC. This is like an expansion pack you have to purchase additionally to the game. You don't have to have it to play the original game, but you have to have the original game to play this. Reese discovering I love the Rams. I'm going to have three on my spooky island. Yes, the Rams are great. Can't stop yawning. Forever yawning. You raise my pores. I'll tell you, it's very comforting watch. Thank you. This weird little patch of. Three hundred and twenty tickets. Oh my gosh. That's so many tickets. You can have ten animal villagers. And then you can have I guess as many players as you can have profiles on the Switch live there as well. Send me the amiibo kids. I will. Yeah, I saw that somebody had sent you the amiibo. I remember you talking about that during one of your streams. I was like, isn't that <laughs> part of the fun is like hunting it, I guess, but Four kids plus all the residents. That's all the for getting creative. Nice. Yeah, I'm the only one who uses my Switch, so I'm on the NPC or the vacation. Oh, um, you can do like unlimited vacation homes, and you can use the same spot multiple times. It doesn't really matter. What's her request? A sad cafe with sad art is her request. <laughs> um, so we're gonna make her a sad cafe. Of course. How do you get them to be roommates? I don't know. I've never done the roommates thing. Caitlin, thank you for subscribing. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. She loves the white pansies. I'm like, look, if I'm lining them this way, then you should just know to go that way. The DLC is not available on multiple devices, no. You have to like purchase it for multiple devices. Because I have two Switches and the same account on both Switch, but like my Breath of the Wild DLC doesn't work on my Tears of the Kingdom Switch. I only have it on this one. Mama Lily, thank you for the pumpkin spice lattes. This 
at their place and they ask the room. Okay. I'm working on chatting more. Thank you. I appreciate you being here either way. What other kind of outdoor stuff do we want to put out here? This is supposed to be like a sad art cafe. Should we put some sad art out here? Is it an option to... There's variations of this you can choose. Oh, I thought this would be on a... What's your thoughts on Stardew Valley? I've been wanting to play it, but I get mixed reviews. I've played a little bit of Stardew Valley. Nothing too extensive. And I think it's fine. I... A lot of people don't like the animation style because it's kind of that old school looking style, which I can appreciate. Um... I... <laughs> I like that... It's a little more quest-based, and you can form, like, romantic relationships and friendships and that kind of thing. Um, but I just never got into Stardew. But I will say, I'm really enjoying Fey Farm, which is the same kind of Stardew vibes, where you have, like, quests you're supposed to do, and you can do the whole like friendship and romance thing and I'm enjoying Fay Farm a lot but it's like newer looking animation style it's cute it's so um the story is fun in Stardew I think Stardew is kind of like dividing for people they either really really love it or they're like eh, it wasn't for me so it can be kind of hard so maybe look into Fay Farm and see if that might be something you're interested in. That's a newer game that just came out. It just feels hard to play. See, and at least... With Faye Farm, I have some streams posted on my YouTube, so if you want to see what it's about, you can go watch some gameplay and see if it's something that you'd be interested in. I play Faye Farm and I love it. Yeah, I also really like Faye Farm. I'll hear my stomach just then. She says, feed me Seymour. I like that it's open, it isn't hardcore grind. I didn't know if it's a farm. I really like Fae Farm. I think it's really cute. I like that you get to be a little fairy and get some wings. I like kind of the magical aspect of it. Farm reminds me of Harness Moves Story Seasons. Haven't played it yet, though. Okay. Yeah, it's so hard to kind of give my opinion sometimes because I have not played a lot of Stardew or whatever, but I know I, what people have, like, said. Oh, 
got another demon's name last night and finished the shift on Mortuary Assistant. Oh my god, that's awesome. Congratulations. Tasha, thank you for the rose. All right, we're going to make this sad city. And thank you for the four rosas. <laughs> tend to like a busy floor because then I feel like when you put stuff on top of it it also just looks like busy busy <sighs> Haley thank you for the follow it's my most productive moment of the week couldn't get an interest I haven't even tried playing Dreamlight Valley because I just I can't exactly put my finger on what, but it just really doesn't appeal to me very much. I think we're gonna make this one like kind of long and narrow. I also embalmed her body, so we're double time yesterday. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. What is this? Groovy wallpaper. Oh, I don't love that. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Convince myself I'm gonna like Disney Dream Light Valley. Meg, I love watching you play because of the way you mock the characters. It makes me laugh so much. Good morning, Sav. Oh, the first fall bit didn't match the floor. Yeah. I like this flower wall. I think it's cute. You know what though? I really like this intricate wall as well with like that pattern, but I think this looks better if we're gonna go with like sad art. Plather should bring up Brewster after you've reached a three star and you've donated. God, is it? I keep seeing conflicting information online. Donate at least one real thing to all of his museum pieces and be a three star island. The classic Disney characters are just <laughs> not it for me. I feel that. Give me a different color of chair. Blue. And white. Do you have a different color option? We're just gonna go with a blue vibe because blue is sad. Blue is sad colors. The whole island almost done, but my house is still empty. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, her own photo framed. Yeah, you gotta donate that real art. Oops, oops, oops. To rotate you. at the vet oh I hope everything's okay I think it's hilarious when I put pictures of villagers in their own house I love putting pictures of villagers in their own house and I love putting my Nicolas Cage picture in little places as well it's like two of my favorite things to do hmm 
Okay. Sad art. Where's that one, the sinking painting? Feels very sad art to me. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Flowery painting because it makes me think of Doctor Who. Oops, I meant to do. <laughs> I love those emails. I make all my own emotes, <laughs> if you can't tell. The episode goes, oh, see, thank you, my fellow Whovians. Oh. Yeah, that Van Gogh episode. You wanna cry? You wanna cry real quick? Go watch that episode. Where I can never remember where all of the like statues and stuff are. I don't think they're in this category. That's all the fossils. There's a few episodes of TV that are like go to for crying. A bell voucher you can purchase with your Nook Miles and then you give it to Timmy and Tommy at the shop and they'll give you bells for it. So it's kind of like a way to turn Miles into bells. Oh, that's right. It doesn't move the rug. Uh, Doctor Who, but just general episodes of television that like make you cry. Okay, this is also supposed to be a cafe, so. Um, I don't like any of these. Also, yeah, I. Uh, There's so many episodes of Doctor Who that make you cry. So when you're doing the Happy Home Paradise decorating, if you hold down R and like highlight like that, it will move everything you highlight. Jurassic Park, Meg. Yes. So y'all can't see. Hold on, let me see if I zoom out. Maybe y'all can see. Um, when Matt Smith says goodbye, I know. Matt Smith is not my favorite doctor, but he has some of the best written stories. Okay, so up here, I used to go to a lot of comic cons and stuff, and I like getting autographs. So there's River Song, and there's the twins from Harry Potter, and there's me and Carl from The Walking Dead. This one right here is from the Jurassic Park episode of Futurama when I got to meet. Um, I'm totally blanking on his name. The one who voices Fry, um, Billy West. He's a very, very well-known wife, uh, wife, um, voice actor. And so he's autographing. It's so hard to see with the glare, but it's where he's feeding Seymour pizza. But yeah, and then Kathy and Jimmy who voiced Peggy Hill. 
And then who else? Neville. And then there's me and John Bernthal. Anyway. Because I also have some, like, horror movie ones on this entire wall over here. But, anyway. Face. Is the Pergo in the Twins Universal? I miss seeing him. Oh my gosh, we need a room tour. <laughs> I guess I never show y'all. Like, this entire wall is covered with my horror movie autographs. So, got Texas Chainsaw, um, Sid Haig before he died, and Devil's Rejects. Uh, the guy who played Jigsaw in the Saw movies, Robert England, Freddy Krueger, Elijah Wood. Um, the original Michael Myers, Nick Castle, and then Tyler Maine, who was Rob Zombie's Michael Myers. Um, George Romero before he died. Um, the Chin. I'm really having difficulty with names today. Um, I'm kicking myself. Bruce Campbell. That was a big one for me. Mm. Danny Trejo. <sighs> no, I met all of these people and got their autographs. Am I going to Frightmare in Irving? Oh my god, Jess. That's where I met all of these people before they moved to Irving, back when they were still at the hotel. I went like three or four years in a row and met all these people and got their autographs there. I also have like a Walking Dead poster that I have like 11 or 12 autographs on. I have a Scream poster with like four or five autographs on. I have a Rocky Horror Picture Show. The only one I have an autograph of that I didn't get to meet is Tim Curry. Monster Mania. Yes. Oh my God. I don't have anyone to go to Frightmare with anymore. My husband's not really into horror and I'm not friends with the people I used to go with anymore. Um, so I haven't gone in a while. <laughs> I was getting in rub with all of you guys every time. Robert England is hilarious, dude. Like, meeting him was awesome. So sad when I miss Tim Curry. Yes. Apparently the horse stuff has gotten, I think it's gotten overcrowded. Yes. Comic-Con is fun. Um, Frightmare is really, really fun. Like, I would love to go to Frightmare again. Horizontal organizer. I need a little... Sorry, now that we've gotten completely off topic. I need a little cafe. Mm. So I will say this about Barry Boswick. He's a very cool dude to meet. Um, he, in his Q&A, was talking about how much he dislikes the Rocky Horror, what it's turned into, and like yelling at the screen and all the extra stuff you say. He's not a fan. I should have put this outside. But he's a very nice guy, and I really enjoyed meeting him. There's a great picture of me standing next to him because he's very tall and I am very short. And, um... <laughs> Sorry. He said it, and I was like, oh, that's kind of surprising. I think it was more like he just prefers the original and the way they did it and everything and um I don't know I think the sing-alongs and the what all that stuff is fun I've gone to one but it's hard to just beat sitting on your couch and watching that it's classic and awesome want like a cafe like like a counter 
not like a diner counter, but I think that's what they suggest. What colors do we have here? Maybe we can use this one. I'll try the cream and see how it looks. That's not bad. Put it over here by the sign. I went, I made a fan newspaper to put in front of my jeans. It's my shirt top. That's funny. It can be fun and I enjoyed doing it. And I went to a sing along at a Frightmare one year and it was really fun. Did that just go? Where did that just go? Oh, like back there. I got to meet Meatloaf and Patricia Quinn from the Rocky Horror Picture Show as well. Meatloaf was hilarious. Patricia Quinn was crazy. And I got to do um, the elbow thing with Patricia Quinn. Um, yeah. Ugh. I've got to do some cool stuff. <laughs> I've never done the Rocky Horror on Broadway. Or have they done it on Broadway? I don't know. It is like the long, considered one of the longest running shows just because of all the different productions of it that have been going on for all these years. I wish this came in different colors. Awful music. Ted Raimi two years ago. Man, okay, when I met, um, I am having such a brain problem since I've had COVID. Um, the guy who plays the, like, android in Alien. What is his name? Yes, Lance, like, Heinrichsen, or Hendrix, something like that. So I met him, and he, I have his autograph up on the wall, and sometimes they'll ask your name and all that stuff, and I'm like, oh, my name's Shannon. He's like, my daughter's name is Shannon, na 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 And so that was really cool to get to, like, chit-chat with him for a while, and um, I love our little cafe. It's sad, but it's cute. And um, then like some of them when they do autographs like won't personalize them or it costs extra or whatever. And um, when I met George Romero, I walked up and I was like, hi, I'm Shannon, good to meet you. He's like, I'm so sorry, I'm not doing personalizations. And I was like, that's fine, I'm, I'm Southern. It's just polite to introduce yourself with your name, shake your hand. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> So, bye Sav, I'll see you later, have a good day.
Oh, I'm from Texas. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> I like the decorative plates, but I feel like I've been using them so much lately. She wasn't as excited about that one. Yeah, Texas doesn't really have the best reputation right now. <laughs> Been to look for a while. Yeah, I did grow up. I was born and raised here. I need a little stand for my music player. I don't just want to like sit on the ground. I do try to keep these Animal Crossing streams family friendly. My other streams, not so much. But these, yes, I try to. Because I know people who like watch them with their children in the morning while they're getting ready for school or getting ready for work. Or So this is the one stream I do try to keep. Thank you for asking. The rest of the ones, it's like a free for all. After dark, we make no promises. There's that. I mean, it's simple, but I kind of like it. Post in Discord. Discord is cool. Yes. <laughs> I like a funny celebrity meet story. Um, Raccoon is a con artist? Yes. Not me checking Discord later for this story. Oh, yeah. This is cute. I like this. This is turning out like kind of adorable. runs the streaming okay yeah I probably won't do another one I'll probably just be done after this She loves a surveillance camera. All right. How was the first workout after being sick? Uh, I could definitely tell I hadn't been there in a couple weeks, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was hard, but it wasn't bad. I'm going back today, so.
I just learned that I'm older than Google. Yeah, um, I'm sure I am too. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I kind of like that. Thank you, Haley. I felt good going back into it. And it's funny because like instructor's like okay you could use weights for arms today and I and somebody was like oh do you want some weights I'll grab you some and I was like nah girl I was like this is my first day back in like 15 days I'm I'm good <laughs> and I like it there the instructors are really nice and I told her ahead of time like hey this is my first this is my first one back in a while and she came over and she's like hey modify this I, you, it's okay this one's a little hard and I was like all right so this is cute. It definitely looks like a sad cafe. See, but here it just says the art cafe, but the prompt said a sad place for sad art. God, Vanessa, that's so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would imagine so. Oh. You know, it's like when we were at Austin Comic Con one year, and um, we were walking, I think we were leaving early or something, and we were walking, and I like almost physically ran into this other person. Oh, excuse me. And I turned around, and it was Stan Lee, and I was like... I'm finished. buy all this stuff. I got so much dang pokey. Ten thousand pokey for that tablet. Naomi has a phone color, but her makeup skill. <laughs> True. She's got like those scary eyes. I have OCD, they're not even. You can't make them even. It's just the design of the game. And it's really, really frustrating sometimes. And sometimes, like, I think I have a really good idea for a design, but because it looks off, I will just get rid of it and do something different because I hate the way it looks. It's so frustrating. So I feel you. Like, I'm not, like, diagnosed AC OCD, so... And I'm not making light of it, but my god, it's it's so annoying. It's... Like, I rarely put pathways from the entrance to the houses when you're decorating the outside because they never line up. So sometimes I'll put my house, like, over in the corner or something and then kind of make an L-shaped path because it helps kind of trick you into think it lines up look better. But yeah, just like a straight path is never going to look right. It's so irritating. It's like they intentionally did it to mess with you. Then nobody has tinier eyes than Eugene. All right, that's going to be it for me today. But y'all go check out... Um, 
Y'all go check out Franzella. I typed her name here. She's streaming Animal Crossing right now. Thank you for the way you worded that regarding OCD. Of course. I don't want to make light of an actual, like, condition that people have. And it's not something that I'm diagnosed with or suffer from. But I know people who do. And that it is a real and serious thing. And so, like, I never want y'all to feel that I'm flippant or making fun of anyone. Like, I'm not here for that. We're here to be inclusive. We love everybody. Your flaws make you beautiful. If everybody was the same, the world would be so boring. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah. About Animal Crossing, do you know if you can shorten conversations? No, you can mostly just, like, push the button a bunch of times angrily, and that's about it. But nothing will... You can't, like, skip the conversations, unfortunately. It's just kind of... The tedium is kind of built into this game. And that's just that's just the way it is with some things, unfortunately. So, um... But thank you to my new subscriber. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you guys for all the gifts. And oh my God, Tasha, thank you for the golden trumpets. And Mama Lily for the pumpkin spice lattes at the left. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate you guys very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will probably stream this afternoon. Uh, but it'll be closer to maybe like three-ish in the central time zone. And then I've also posted my entire October schedule in my discord. There is a link in my link tree, but it doesn't always work. So sometimes you have to copy and paste it into a web browser and then you can get to it that way. But that's where I post my schedule and my announcements. And, um, do you know what you plan to stream this afternoon? I don't, it probably won't be animal crossing. I might do some more breath of the wild. I started a new breath of the wild playthrough. It might be some Fay farm. It kind of just depends on how I feel. Because so I've got to go run some errands. I'm going to go do a Pilates class. I have a virtual doctor's appointment today. So, um, thank you so much. What was it say? The fast way to make money without cheating? Um, crafting the hot items, swimming and selling sea creatures, and then selling to um, Flick and CJ. Save your bugs and fish and sell them to them. Um, and then if you have the, if you're a three star island and you have the ability to cook, if you pick your fruits and vegetables and then you actually cook them into a meal, it'll make you a little more than actually just selling the raw ingredients. So, um, but I'm going to go creep in Franz's while I go do other things. So y'all come join me over there and we can, <laughs> we can talk there too, but, um, have a great day, everybody. I have, I had fun this morning.